Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are gonna be doing this look right here. I was very inspired because I feel like fall is slowly creeping in because this weather, it's nice, but it's getting like a bit colder. So I figured I wanna really wanna do like a cranberry kind of like smoky eye lashes, highlighter, and a nude lip. So if you want to know how I got this look, then please keep on watching. And if you are new here, my name is Leslie Nicole. I do videos of makeup, hauls, reviews, vlogs, and sometimes to check your ready with me with my friends. So yeah, anyways, if that is what you like, then don't forget to subscribe, hit that button and get the notification bell so that you are notified on when I upload. So anyways, with that being said, I hope you like this video and this look. All right, you guys, back with another voiceover. You guys like this one. So I'm just gonna hydrate my lips with the Sun Bum uh, Cherry, I believe, Bomb. But anyways, <laughs> priming my face using Benefits Pore Professional. I love this primer so, so much. It is like the best, uh, it's, it makes your, skin feels so smooth and silky it's crazy but anyways i'm going to combine uh, my foundation so i'm going to take the hourglass um hourglass um foundation in natural and then i'm going to combine it with the shimmering skin perfector in opal just to combine and get like a glowy kind of glow i guess you could say <laughs> and i'm going to be using my damp beauty sponge from sigma it's the 3h dh or 3d hd 3d hd oh my god <laughs> and it's pink and it's cute and i love it because the angles in it are so good to blend out your foundation and honestly like it's so inexpensive too but anyway so i'm just basically putting on my foundation nothing new i don't know if i should include these in it in future videos because i just feel like it's a little bit redundant but i mean if you guys like it let me know in the comments below so going in with my concealer, it's the Born This Way. I love this concealer so, so much. And with the sponge, because the way that it's angled, I feel like it blends it out so perfectly and seamlessly. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, so yeah, so just blending it out. And then of course, setting it with my MAC translucent setting powder. And oh my God, I love this powder so much. I just recently bought some new ones. So anyways, gonna be doing my brows off camera. We are back. They are filled and fabulous. This is my Makeup Geek palette with four MAC shadows, I believe in it. And I'm gonna be doing a video on my favorite shadows, just so you know. So, um, but anyways, going in with Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek, just to put that in the crease of the lid, blending it out, windshield wiper motions, and circular motions as well. <laughs> But uh, just putting that on just as a base and just making sure that it, you know, we create layers. Going in with Coco Bear, oh my God, one of my favorite colors uh, that she created, Marlena. And just taking another fluffy brush and blending that into the crease as well. I am fast forwarding it, uh, making this a little faster so you guys can see what I am doing. So putting that in the crease, just all over the lid, in the crease, up and down, taking the old brush that we do use creme brulee with, and then going back in and back and forth. Going with, going with those two shadows there, that is Bitten by Makeup Geek and Cherry Cola. I love these colors so much. Like they are the perfect fall color. If Marlena made this in a lipstick, oh my God, I'd buy like 10 tubes, I swear. But anyways, so just putting that over top and taking a flat brush as well into the lower lash line, just making, cause we are gonna make this smoky eye, okay? <laughs> so just packing that on to your preference. I really like to pack on the color because we are, this is a smoky fall eye. Like I love the way that these shadows blend together and they're super inexpensive, like crazy. And I love, I just love these shadows. So don't worry, a video is coming with all that. But in the palette, I, we don't have this color. So I'm just using from, um, <laughs> I'm using from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Uh, I don't remember the shade, but I'm just packing that on to the lid just so that it's kind of shimmery. And I forgot to put some setting powder just to bake and just catch any fallout. So I'm just quickly doing that. And um, just packing on as much as 
you want. And then just going back in and packing that all over the lid, that shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And then um, I think I'm going in, yes, I'm going in with, in with Americano, which is another favorite. It's such a Swiss chocolate dark brown, just to deepen the color a little bit. And then going in with going in with Sissy, that is the color in the Jaclyn Hill palette with Cran Apple. How perfect. I said cranberry. That's so funny. But anyways, just packing that on, kind of putting them together side by side, just so that they layer um, as a beautiful kind of top of the lid color. Anyways, going in with Shimmer Shimmer. Shimmer Shimmer is my favorite color brow bone highlight, inner corner highlight, but I didn't want to be too uh, bold on the inner corner. So I went with Rapunzel from Makeup Geek and put that in the center of the lid. And then we're just gonna set our brows because we're done with the eyes, you guys. Like it's not too bad. As long as you're blending, you are fine. I promise you. So just setting my brows and yeah, that definitely happens. So we just wait till that dries and then we wipe it away with a Q-tip. So going in with some liner, this one is from MAC. I just wanna basically create a line I don't really necessarily wanna create a wing, but I just wanted to create a kind of base to uh, liner as I just love a fluid line instead of like a pen. I don't know. Anyways, so uh, just creating that on each side and just trying to make them even. Sorry that this footage is not the best, but I just took a damp. Uh, sorry, I just took my beauty blender and wiped away my um, my little mistake I did and just wiping away the bake curling the lashes, putting on my favorite mascara, which you guys all know is the Maybelline, the black tube. Like seriously, I love this mascara so much. So I'm gonna come back with some lashes on and there you go. So these are the Demi Wispies in, from Ardell. <laughs> so yeah, now we're gonna contour my face. Yes, my shade and light palette is so no more. I need to refill it, but I just haven't gone around to it. So we're going with Anastasia, which is my first contour palette that I ever purchased, if you wanted to know. So just contouring the cheeks with the F05, which is my favorite Sigma brush to contour, and just contouring my nose, my forehead, and my chin. Don't forget your chin because, you know, we need that definition, you know what I'm saying? So as you all know, I use the middle shade, I think it's Fawn, I believe, and uh, just darken that up. I do take, um, some white powder and just kind of set so it's not so harsh and blend it out. This palette is from Tarte. They do this at Christmas time. I cannot wait for their palette to come out again. This palette is the Bling It On palette and I'm using the color Smashing from Tarte. I love Tarte so much, oh my God. And this color is just the perfect, oh, it's the perfect cheekbone color. But anyways, going in with the Anastasia Sun Dipped, I'm not sure which, how this is but I'm just going with bubbly and uh dripping gold and just mixing all those kind of lighter shades with my skin tone and uh putting that highlight on and I love highlights so I put a lot on you can put as much as you want you don't have to do what I do but anyways then we're gonna go with eyeliner yes it's a little nub but it is ardency and it's my favorite black coal liner so just lining the waterline with it I use a puff so that I don't ruin my face because I tend to press really hard. <laughs> so with that, we're gonna go and coat our bottom lashes. And of course, my favorite mascara, hello. <laughs> Do we not know that by now? So make sure that you coat the bottom lashes and we're gonna take a nude kind of pinky lip liner and we're gonna be lining the lips with that. And then I have been going in with this lipstick you guys have no idea velvet teddy has been in my repertoire so much i get so many compliments on it like you have no idea so with that being said i did not film an outro i apologize but this is the finished look you guys please like this video thumbs up comment below on what you want to see in the next video or if you recreated this look i would love to hear from you don't forget to subscribe i am back and i miss my youtube fam i love you guys so so much and i hope you guys like this look and I love you. Bye-bye.